I want you to have these because you are the beginning and closing chapters of this book. Because you are so far and I am so alone. I wanted you to have these because I watched that crumble and I saw myself slipping away. I want you to have these poems because I will go on and I will not want to at times. Because I love you. Because you are a poem chanted softly at night. When you open the bottle, it would never run dry. Honestly falling. Red wine, you travel the earth. To become unknown. In every cell you a traveler with my head down, forging an alliance with the ghost of memory to quietly a table for two. Forget my name. There is nobody to hear me cry. No one knocking on my door when I want them to. When I would let them in, the hand is never hers. The hand is never hers. Though I have knelt lightly burning incense to call her, have sacrificed my flesh, literally cut myself with knife in offering, have spilt blood. And still the wind blows no name, no name to break the pattern of silence I have woven around me like a thick wool blanket. Twilight of the idol, stars and suns, I believed in you. With you, I became one. Once again, the whole world's just out to get me. Anger. I was angry for so long, I thought it was normal. Now I can see I was just in a cycle. And when the cycle comes again, I see it and act accordingly. I have learned that I can control my anger. Blood in my bones as this whiskered furry friend was transfigured before me, and I beheld the holy Buddha herself. Still transfixed on those fucking curtains, but definitely, most definitely, Buddha. Bellows of laughter erupted from the bottom of my stomach without giving this sacred Egyptian feline a flinch, so I whispered quietly but progressively louder until catching her attention, Hey Toffee, you're Buddha! Hey Toffee! Your Buddha! Toffee, your Buddha! Until slowly, without moving her body, she cranked her neck and looked at me with glazed over eyes and acknowledgement as if to say, Yeah, what of it? Despair. You disgraced my face. You looked at me in the mirror this morning. I turned away. You followed me to the bedroom, the empty cavern of my soul. I walked inside the room of my heart and I saw you weeping. You, oh despair. You stranger of my heart, you iridescent light that follows me through the shadowless vacuum. I sit, I stare at my cats. I wonder what they're thinking beyond the food and the water and the dirty litter box. And I think to myself, I could change. I could be like them. I could have someone stroke me, love me, listen to me purr. I could have someone walk into my life, but the door is closed. 
It's closed on purpose, nailed shut, shut like a coffin. <laughs> Irony is, the taste of blood is in my mouth. My blood, the blood that I spilled for you tonight. For you, or us. What will it really take to understand and realize all your thoughts are yours? That some of your best and some of your worst are not yours. What actually is your best thinking? What do you want to ask yourself? What thoughts are really yours to keep, to make you who you really want to be? Who do you really want to be made up of? <laughs>